Hi and welcome to pmplounge.com. Continuing our discussion on the report capturing the value of project management through decision making which is of course a free report available on pmi.org. I will share the link uh, to download this report in the description below so you can go over and download this yourself. Uh, nothing is required. It's a free report all copyrights acknowledged. So we are looking at some of the graphs uh, in this report that pertain to how organizations have improved their project outcomes through decision making and how decision making has been the key thing basically to improve their project outcomes. So let's get started. Let's try to look into uh, some of the graphs and understand how organizations have done it. Improving outcomes with a decision making process. So in the green you'll see project teams always follow process and in blue is project teams rarely or never follow process. So this is for decision making the process of decision making and we have already covered that in a previous video. I link to the entire playlist of this uh, report and you can kind of go in there and check out the decision making process. So 74% projects meet goals wherein uh, the project team is always following process 64% projects meet uh, projects are completed within budgets when the project team is following the process and then 60% projects are on time wherein the project team are following the process for the teams that rarely or never follow process the three figures are 57%, 42%, and 37%. So following process is again extremely important and this shows in the difference of the successes uh, in, the, in the project outcomes that the teams have. Improving project outcomes with post project review. So the project is done and post project we have a review. Red is always or often and blue is occasionally or never. So projects meet that meet goals 74 percent projects within budget 63 percent projects on time 60 percent whereas for blue it's 58 percent 46 percent and 37 percent so post project the reviews are extremely important that is where the lessons are learned that is where uh, the stage is set for the next projects right so it is extremely important and the teams that do it organizations that do it uh, they have a higher success rate and their project outcomes are extremely not extremely but are quite uh, better than the ones that don't improving project outcomes by defining decision making principles within project governance so you have a decision making principles you have decision making principles defined within the project governance you see green is fully defined blue is rarely defined so wherever the decision making principles are fully defined in project governance you see that 77 percent projects are meeting goals 65 percent are within budget and 62 percent are on time whereas the wherever the decision making principles are not defined you've only got 55 percent 42 percent and 32 38 percent so Yep, here I can use the word extremely because there's an there's quite a big difference between the two, between the organizations that fully define decision making principles and the organizations that rarely define uh, the decision making principles. Improving project outcomes with stakeholders in mind. So in red, you've got always or sometimes and in blue, you've got occasionally, rarely or never. So here we're talking about improving the project outcomes with stakeholders in mind so stakeholders if they are in mind if the decision makers if the project team and the decision makers and everyone involved in the project as such have stakeholders the key stakeholders in mind you've got 71 percent projects that are meeting goal you've got 59 projects percent projects which are within budget and you've got 54 percent projects that are on time whereas when the stakeholders are not in mind right uh, by the project team or the decision makers you've got 46 percent 39 percent and 31 percent only so again a stark difference between the two so we have seen how uh, the the uh, outcomes the project outcomes can be improved through decision making processes 
Again, the conclusion here remains the same as one of our previous videos. Decision makers have the right to information, have the right information to make decisions. Decision makers are familiar with organizational strategy and organizations provide adequate attention to risk management. Wherever these three points are taken care of, decision making is an aid to project management and is a boon for project management is something that is definitely and most surely going to raise the success level of the project and the project outcomes will be impacted in the most positive ways possible so that is all that we had in this video do hit the like button if you liked it and subscribe to this youtube channel if you haven't done so already check us out on our social media facebook.com slash pmp lounge and twitter.com slash pmp lounge and as always do check out the website pmp lounge.com your number one free resource for pmp certification as well as project management industry information thank you